Hey everybody, this is Alex from Team Aguilar Real Estate. Um, we're going to do a series of videos and the idea, the purpose behind the videos, this is the first of hopefully a few videos um, to give people that aren't familiar with San Diego a better idea of what it would be like to live in certain areas. Um, we're going to go take a look at a complex downtown. We're going to start with the downtown area. And one particular complex that I'm fairly familiar with is Park Terrace Condominiums. It's a complex down in the East Village of downtown San Diego. It's located on 253 10th Avenue. We're going to go down and try and look at three units that are currently for sale there. And also look at the amenities the building has they offer. And um, just try to give you a better idea of what it would be like to live in Park Terrace and what it would be like to live in the East Village of downtown San Diego. And hopefully anybody that's unfamiliar with downtown or San Diego would find it helpful if they were looking for property in that area. So now we're, we're just entering into the East Village of downtown San Diego. Um, one thing that's pretty cool about living in this area is that, especially if you're a baseball fan, is you're, um, you're right in the middle of where Petco Park is, the home of the San Diego Padres. It's actually right there up on the, on the right, and it's right across the street from Park Terrace where we're going, so if you're a baseball fan, it's definitely convenient. It can get a little loud, a little noisy during baseball games. The baseball games aren't aren't too bad, but it's occasionally they have fireworks. But it only lasts for about 15, 20 minutes, and it's maybe six times a year, so it's not horrible. All right, so we're just getting in here. We're gonna go down and park in the garage here in Park Terrace. You can see there's not really any tandem spots. These spots that are face to face in front of you here have access from the front and the rear. And a lot of the parking in this building is all side by side. All right, we're gonna park here in one of the spaces and then we'll go upstairs. We'll take a look at a couple of these units and give you a better idea of what it would be like to live here in Park Terrace. All right, so here we are, we're inside um, the first unit. This is just a studio unit. It's uh, about 500 square feet. It's pretty small. Uh, the kitchen is uh, obviously right here in front of us. It appears to be a bank owned unit. All the appliances have been removed, which is fairly common. Um, to give you an idea, this unit is 514 square feet. It is a studio, one bath, and it's currently listed at 179,000 900. Um, to give you an idea how crazy this market was, back in 2007, the previous sale price of this particular condo was 284500 So it's come down quite a bit. It's come down over $100,000 in price. And um, the HOA fee is $539. The bathroom, it's fairly large. And then let's go out and look at the view. Cause that's really one of the benefits of living downtown is if you're gonna pay a significant amount of money for a condo down in this area, you wanna get something that's up a few floors. This is on the seventh floor. You wanna try and get something that's gonna have a view. It's kind of like an interior facing unit. So we're looking down in the courtyard area. There's some of the common areas down there where the barbecue is located. Um, there's a couple barbecues down there. That's on the second level, so you don't have much of a view from the common area down there, but it is a nice little area to go and barbecue. Um, that's Petco Park off there to the right, which I would mention. One of the benefits if you're a big baseball fan, Park Terrace is obviously right across the street from Petco Park. And then you can see Coronado Bay, you can see the Coronado Bridge over there off in the distance. So you've got a bit of a water view, which is definitely, it's definitely nice. Um, that parking lot over there, in the distance. There are plans um, in the works for uh, additional, I believe it's a Marriott hotel, um, shopping, restaurants, 
So you've got to figure that the only reason that hasn't been built yet is because of the current economy. They put everything on hold, but you've got to plan that in the next five to ten years they will be building something there. And so that view that you do have that is not going to be there forever. Um, that would be blocked off. So that's also something to take into consideration when you're looking at places downtown because there's a lot of areas in downtown San Diego right now where there's a lot of empty lots and you know you can go down to the city and pull the records of any permits any uh any plans that are in the works and see what is proposed to be built down there sometimes some of the things being built are only four or five six stories tall but in other cases like that Hilton hotel they just built you know that's probably 25 30 stories um it's a really nice hotel but it's uh it would have blocked any views for people that live down in, in the other side of Petco Park. So this is the first unit. We'll go and take a look at the There's your living, dining, sleeping area. It's not a not a whole lot of space, but it is $110,000 cheaper than what it previously sold for. So alrighty.